Hello, my fellow investors, and welcome to, I guess you would consider this, episode one of this new series I am making on the channel. Yes, you heard me right. I am actually going to start a new series because today I made a decision. Today I made the decision to start investing again. Now, for those of you who have been following me for a while, I have said that I am not buying any stocks right now because I'm trying to save for a house. Well, uh, plans have changed and um, I am no longer pursuing that goal. So time to now increase this dividend income. So guys, today I'm going to be buying a couple of stocks here and I'm going to tell you guys exactly why I'm buying this certain amount and there's a reason for it because I would actually like to do something very, very special in the future as well. So with that said, guys, let's get started with this video. Now, for all of those of you who are probably new to this or like just are watching this channel for the first time, this is your first video. I am a dividend investor, guys. I'm a value dividend investor, meaning that I like to buy dividend paying companies in order to so that way I can in order to get income while at the same time trying to find them at a really really good valuation as you can see i have a lot of companies here some i have fully invested in some i haven't but i do have a few totaling an entire amount of eighty nine thousand eight hundred and fifty one dollars and sixteen cents with a total annual dividend income guys of three thousand eight hundred and sixty seven dollars on the dot and i have this excel sheet that is available for all of you guys as well there's a video on how you actually get it so you guys are going to be seeing today exactly how i use this spreadsheet in order to track my dividends and really how useful it is but basically guys i'm going today to buy a couple of stocks and by a couple i mean all of them because my goal from now on is to first of all obviously make dividend income but I also would like to do some cash secured puts. Now, for all those of you who know, I use M1 Finance as my broker. And unfortunately, M1 Finance does not allow, or at least they don't have the feature to do cash secured puts or even covered calls. In order for me to actually apply that feature is I have to move brokers. I already know which broker I'm going to, Charles Schwab, but in order for me to do that in the first place, guys, I can transfer all of my stocks over to Charles Schwab. However, unfortunately, that transfer does not allow any fractional shares. And M1 Finance is very, very strong when it comes to fractional shares. All of them are fractional shares. So, for example, I have right here AV Inc., right? I have 66.22728 shares. If I were to transfer this over to Charles Schwab, it's not a problem. However, this 0.22728 shares would actually be sold and then I would get that cash back into my M1 account. So the goal for today, guys, is I want to buy to the next share price up. As you can see right here, so I have 66.22728 shares for Avi. I would actually like to bring this up to 67. The reason being is I do not want to lose this 0.22 of dividend income. That's essentially why I'm doing that. Now for Avi, you're probably looking at this and you're like, what's 0.22? Yeah, except for some, I actually have it at like 0.8. Uh, you know, 0 0.9, 0 0.7, and they don't want to lose it because some of them pay me a whole lot of cash and I bought them at a really, really good valuation. So that's essentially, guys, what we're going to be doing today. So you can see I've already put in my balance. $2,777.75 is the total amount I'm going to be using for today. And I actually got this using my spreadsheet. I have made this and it pretty much just tells you pretty much the companies that, that you have, the price willing to invest, the number of shares that that amount will actually get you, the number of projected shares after that is already bought, projected dividends, and the dividend difference. Essentially, how much you're going to be paid extra. So I have done this, guys, for all of my companies. Well, not all, but most. And we're going to be putting in all of these values today in this video. And we're going to be buying some stocks. So let's actually get started. Starting, of course, with the months of April, July, and October. We guys, we got guys JP Morgan, ticker symbol JPM. So coming over here to the financial sector, guys, we got JPM over here. And I would actually like to buy. And the thing that it said on, on my spreadsheet was $106 would get me essentially close to six shares. So let's input in, guys, right here, $106, 105 106 and let's continue with that. Confirm the buy. Perfect. And we're done with that one. Now let's actually go over to, eh, I think I should just do everything per pie, honestly. Let's go down to Visa next. Now Visa, it is part of the March, June, September, and December payments. So we got Visa. And the next stock up would be $165 for 1.02 shares, essentially. So 165. So we're going to come here. We're going to buy. 
and let me just confirm one more time 100 yep 165 dollars very very nice okay confirm the buy for visa very 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 nice now we also have here i have city group though i am not going to buy city group right now i would like to do this after the transfer is over so i'm not going to be buying into city group right now but there you go guys financial sector two companies right there have already been, been bought so next we got actually i think we should just well actually yeah let's go on to now the material sector so we here got apd and rio tinto so let's come over here now so apd apd pays on february may august and november and this is gonna be a pretty big one guys 205 dollars for 3.01613 shares so what was it again 300 205 dollars okay 205 dollars for apd we're going to buy and 205 very very nice yep 205 perfect let's confirm that buy and there we go and next we got none other than rio tinto which 58 dollars i wish i would be buying this at like 53 back when it was just a couple days ago but oh well i mean i'm gonna oof, my average share price is 54 so i'm definitely buying right now at a premium but oh well it is what it is so let's buy and for real tinto i actually do not have real tinto here because real tinto pays semi-annually but i actually came up with it over here so i put here 42 dollars and that would essentially net me let's see that would essentially net me uh, 0.72 shares, which would bring this up to 5.0212 shares. So $42. Oh, actually, I just realized I do not have enough if I actually do Rio Tinto because this number right here isn't taking into account Rio Tinto. Oh, actually, no, never mind. I did. So now let's actually come over here, guys. So $42. So if we come over here to buy Rio Tinto, we're going to put in here $42. Very, very nice. Okay, and that pretty much does it for the materials. Let's now come back to the dividend and let's go into the utility sector. Alrighty, starting of course with Southern Company. Southern Company, let's see, let's see, Southern Company, $10. Okay, this one's nice and cheap. I actually, I may want to increase that, not gonna lie. So the reason why I'm actually want to increase that is because all of these orders are gonna be executing tomorrow at 9.30. If the market decides to go up, which I doubt because tomorrow is CPI, and I think CPI will come in really, really spicy, the market, this will essentially be bought at a much cheaper price. However, if the market decides to just skyrocket for whatever reason, I may not actually get this whole entire uh, share that, that I want. So I may actually increase this a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. However, I kind of already set everything up for. $277. So that is it is why it is. Oh well, if anything, I'll just buy it again at around 3 p.m. So it's perfectly fine. So let's do $10 for Southern Company. Now let's come over here. What's my average share price actually? Average share price of $60.65. So I'm a little bit over by $3 though. But I think that's perfectly fine. Once again, it is 10 smackaroos. So we got 10. Very, very nice. Let's confirm that buy. Awesome. And now coming back to the utilities. Next we got first energy first energy was my uh provider for the last place i lived that's essentially why i have them and honestly i should have bought more they crashed a couple years ago during 2020 and now i'm kicking myself because i should have bought more this is five dollars and 25 cents i do not know if i can actually buy five dollars and 25 cents of this though oh well i guess it's uh worth a try let's see 5.25 can i buy it yes i can awesome 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 Okay, great. First energy is five dollars and twenty-five cents. Next, we got Next Era Energy. Next Era Energy, right under that, twelve bucks. So let's hit confirm. Actually, what was my average? Price? Wow, sixty-six dollars. Look at that. That, that. That's COVID lows right there. All right, sixty-six dollars. That's crazy. So what is this? Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. So let's invest twelve dollars now. Very very nice. This is probably going to be, guys, a really long video, not going to lie. And I'm probably not going to be making that much edits, mainly because it's just going to be me buying shares or buying stocks. But I figured you guys, you know, would like to see it. So next we got American Water Works. Average price of 156. Wow, I'm actually going to Okay, this is actually going to be a, okay, I mean, I'm not going to be buying a full share. Well, I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to be buying a, like a full share, but, you know, it's still, it's still 
pretty decent. All right, um, uh, AWK. I don't even know what AWK is. Right here. Okay, so that is going to net me twenty-seven dollars. Okay, so let's hit buy. Uh, twenty-seven dollars. Perfect. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, and that's about it for all of the utilities. Next, we got the industrial sector. I actually got two here that I do not have. Uh, hopefully, I can buy into Union Pacific rather soon. But again, similar as to the whole city thing, I don't want to buy into yet. So it is what it is. Uh, I'll probably end up buying UMP maybe tomorrow if the market falls. But yeah. Uh, so we got over here LMT, Lockheed Martin. And let me see. Wow, 354 and it's 485. This company, guys, has just been skyrocketing for me up 92 and a half percent. That's crazy. Uh, okay, so now, okay, so I see I got to see. Okay, so this shouldn't really be a lot then. Let's see. LMT, LMT, LMT. What in the world is LMT? I do not know where LMT is. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Uh, oh, right there. Okay, $11. Okay, cool. There we go. LMT, it is. $11 for the next whole share. Let's do $11. There we go. Very, very nice. Okay. Next, we got 3M. And for 3M, we got, let's see, let's hit buy. What do we got for 3M? Let's see. 3M, 3M, 3M. $44. Okay. $44. Very, very nice. Uh, right, $44, and that's actually going to be an increase of $0.53 cents per share, guys. I probably should be showing you guys exactly like the whole dividend amount as well, but yeah. Uh, so that's 3M for $54. Very, very nice. Okay, and that's it for the industrial sector. Now we got the tech sector. I am down a lot in this one. <laughs> I really am. I have still yet to find a good price point for ADP. It just does not fall into that point that I like. So then, of course, guys, AVGO my baby average share price 536 and it's 469 it was even lower so i really do hope to buy another company more into one day guys i really really do but for now let us buy let's see where in the world is abgo 120 dollars for only essentially a quarter of a share so yeah so let's buy this uh 120 bucks for abgo very very nice that was a big one i think that was the biggest one that we have done so far Okay, $120 for AVGO. Next, we got my boy QCOM as well. And QCOM, it is currently 110. My average share price was 120. That's actually fairly, that's a pretty decent price. I'm buying it right now. So QCOM, let's see. QCOM, $79 that I have to put in. There we go. $79. Very, very nice. Okay. Next, we got Microsoft. Oh, Microsoft. Oh, Microsoft. One day, one day you'll fall sub 200, and then I'm gonna just go crazy. Okay, uh, 188 average share price, 188, and I was buying it when I was 21 back in 2016 at 80, but I was stupid back then, I didn't know what I was doing. So, for Microsoft, guys, let us put in $215. Wow, that's a lot. So, $215, okay, 215. Very, very nice. And whenever I whenever I finish with all this, it should come up to a zero balance, if my math is correct, which should, should be correct. Next, we got Intel. Average share price, $48.37. <laughs> wow, how the mighty have fallen. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. But hey, you know what? At least it won't cost me that much right now. Only $15 for 35 whole shares. Okay, so what? $15, right? $15, $15. Yep, there you go. $15. So let's buy this 15 very very nice and we're done with that okay next we got apple i don't have a lot of shares in apple only got 50 dollars worth mainly because i really didn't find a good price point to buy an apple i bought it at 157 it's 134 so it's actually looking really really good right now and for apple actually apple pays on february may august and november and I had to put in $95. Okay, $95 into Apple. Very, very nice. Hey, at least that will lower my cost basis up a little bit. That's actually very, very good. Let me just make sure of that one more time. $95 into Apple. $95. Very, very nice. Okay, and that pretty much does it for the tech sector. 
Next, we got the telecom. I only have Verizon in here, and I am down a whole lot. <laughs> oh, boy. See, and this is exactly what I mean. Verizon current share count, guys, is 270.71 shares. If I were to just transfer this over i would lose i would lose this uh 0.71 i really don't want to lose that that's essentially why i'm i'm doing this right now so for verizon i only gotta put in 12 bucks i only gotta put in 12 bucks and it brings me over to 270 or 271 sorry so let us do this we gotta put in 12 dollars let me just make sure one more time yep there we go 12 dollars very very nice let's confirm that buy awesome 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 and that does it for the telecom sector. Now we got the consumers, consumer cyclicals and defensive. I, this is the one that actually has the most. Uh, we got, first of all, SJM, an amazing company that has been doing really, really good for me, guys. Average share price. Look at this. Two, uh, sorry, not two, $123.30. Today, $147. This is for the long run. In my personal opinion, I love this company. And my friend, if you're watching this right now, you know who you are. Uh, if you're watching this right now, you're welcome. Uh, so I'm going to say you're welcome. You know why. You, you know why you're welcome. But anyways, we got SJM over here. SJM pays out on the March, June, September, and December. I put in $115 in order to get to the next share. Very, very nice. Okay. Now... Coming into Lowe's. Oh, yes. And I get to buy Lowe's at this. Oh, yes. Look at that. Average share price of $189.63. I'm buying it cheaper now. So for Lowe's, I got to put in $120. Very, very nice. Okay. I like that. I like buying. It's actually turning out really good. I'm actually lowering my cost bases up a little bit here. Okay. So we got $120 for Lowe's. Very, very nice. $120. 120 all right anybody gets that joke you get extra points next we got home depot let's see average share price 280 wow i <laughs> it's over it's over when i'm what it's currently at you know average share price of 280 current share price 286 so it's i'm gonna increase my cost basis here but yeah it's still fairly in line and for home depot home depot pays i believe over here oh that's right i actually do not need to put anything into home depot I do not need to put anything into Home Depot because you can clearly see I have exactly enough shares to so that way I could transfer it and it won't be that much of a detriment. So never mind, that's Home Depot. We're good with Home Depot. Awesome. Next we got Pepsi. Okay, Pepsi, $132, guys. I paid for this company back in 2020. Look at this. $178.55. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, this is what this is what I'm saying. Like, I do not want to sell any of these companies because I bought them at such great valuations. It's just, you know, I don't think some of them I don't think we'll ever get there. So for Pepsi, I have to put in $75. Okay. So let's buy Pepsi. We got as long as this loads, $75. Very, very nice. Okay. And now next we got Clorox. I missed it on Clorox. Clorox fell down to like, what, $120 a couple months ago? You know, it is what it is. But take a look at my average share price, guys. $166. And what's funny about this? Clorox was actually over $200. Like, at one point, I think Clorox got over $220. And when this thing fell to, like, $166, I was just like, oh, my God, bye. And it has not gotten above $200 at all recently. So, yeah, it's going to be really, really nice buying it at, what, like a $30 difference? So, yeah. So, for Clorox... Clorox, 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 CLX, $55. Okay, $55, very, very nice. Okay, next we got, let's see, Legged and Platt, a company that doesn't really move, honestly. I did my analysis on it, I was just like, you know, they, they make like springs that go into like your bed and that kind of stuff. They mainly do like that, that, that kind of stuff, like springy stuff. I figured, you know what? Why not? They pay a pretty big dividend, so you know it is what it is. And I actually paid for them forty-eight dollars and sixteen cents. Current price thirty-three. So, yeah, like the plat is actually over here, and I gotta put in twenty bucks to then get to the next share price of twenty, or to then get to the next share of twenty-five shares. So. We're gonna put in twenty dollars into Legit and Plat. Let's put in twenty. Very nice. Okay. And we're done with that. Next, we got Coca-Cola. 
Coca-Cola. Paid for it, guys. Look at this. $49.16. Current share price, $58. Damn. Wow. That's... That's... This is going back down memory lane at this point, honestly. <laughs> I'm just looking at this. I'm just like, I cannot believe I paid these prices. And that is, what, $20, $25. Okay. $25 into Coca-Cola. Very nice. Very nice. Next, we got Procter & Gamble. I paid $131. Current share price, $136. All right, so it's fairly in line. And let's come over here. Let's buy the sell. Okay. And let's Procter & Gamble, $90, okay, 90 bucks into Procter & Gamble, very nice, very nice, next we got, let's see, Costco, oh, Costco, look at the price I bought it at, guys, $383, $383, $489, this is so crazy, it's so crazy, I'm up 43% of this company alone. It's insane. Not including... Well, actually, no. Th this is including dividends. Never mind. That's crazy. That's just... Hopefully, one day, it'll fall down sub 400. But, man, that is just insane. Insane. All right. So, for Costco, I expect this one to be a whole lot because Costco is very, very expensive. $235. So, I expect to put that. Wow. That was actually, I think, the biggest one so far. Very, very nice. Okay, let's go back. And last one, we got SWBI, otherwise known as Smith & Wesson. I mainly just did this one because when I did my analysis, I'm like, they don't have little debt. I don't understand. And they also pay out the dividends. So I was just like, you know what? Sure, why not? And, you know, I like the guns. I like, I'm a gun guy. So I figured, eh, sure, why not? So I bought this guys at $18. I am down now $10.90. So yeah, that's a pretty big drop. But it's only four dollars I have to put in here, so that's perfectly fine. So yeah, let's put in four dollars. Actually, it should be less because that's gonna still that's still bringing me up a whole lot. Actually, if I put with put two, no, is it three? Is it three? Uh, yeah. Okay, never mind. It's not four. It's three dollars. Okay, so I'm gonna be. I'll have one dollar left in my account then. I guess <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. All right, so that's three dollars. Very very nice. And next. And I think that pretty much does it for the consumers. That was the biggest pie. Next, we got the REITs. We got here Vici Store, DLR, Realty Income, and Crown Castle. So, of course, with Vici, this company has done really, really good for me as well, guys. My average share price, look at this, $28. It's really good. Actually, I don't even think I've done a Vici stock analysis video. I should probably do that. Current share price of $31.53. So, for Vici, 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 I got to put it in $15. By the way, guys, take a look at this. Uh, on projected dividends after this purchase is made, Vici is going to be paying me $66.33. So that's actually very, very cool. So I got to put in $15. Okay, for Vici. And we're done with that. Next, we got Store Capital. I... <sighs> I don't know if I should do this because, well... Okay, so guys, the store capital is having a, uh, is getting bought out by a private company. So all of these shares are going to be sold eventually, uh, once the once it goes through, once that uh, buyout goes through. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be giving that cash back at like thirty two dollars and twenty five cents per share. So even if I buy it now, they'll still give me <laughs> some uh, cash back because I'm definitely buying it under what they're buying for. So yeah, but take a look at this: thirty dollars and eighty three cents is my average share price. So Let's come over here. And for store capital, we gotta put in $17. Okay. Let us put in $17. Let's make sure that that's correct. $17 for point. Yeah, okay, great. $17. Let's confirm. Very, very nice. And we're done with that. Next, we got DLR. I am very happy I'm buying DLR at this current price, guys, because my average is $130. So it's going to be really, really nice. Let's actually come over here. DLR is right over here. I put in $25 into DLR. Very, very cool. I have no idea. Well, I do know why, but like, I have no idea as to why DLR is just this low. It's just insane. Like, I like it. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just like, wow, what a great opportunity. These people just said, oh man. All right, so that's $25 into DLR. Very, very nice. And we're done with DLR. And next we got my baby, 
my baby, which I wish you were lower because you were $10 lower just a couple days ago. Mm, not liking it. Average share price of $62.75. So I'm definitely buying this at what a premium of what 50, 50 cents. So eh, sure, whatever, I guess. Okay, so let's see this for realty income. Come over here. I need to put in 20. Let's put in $24 because I do have I do have that $1 extra from SWBI. So let's put in $24 for realty income. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's, okay, yeah, so that's, what was it again? Hang on a minute, 20, $24, okay, 20, $24, very, very nice. Just so that way, if tomorrow things a a end up, you know, coming in, high, like, high, I don't have to, you know, put more money into it at 3 p.m., so, yeah. And then next, we got CCI, average share price of almost 170, current price of 127. Okay, that's a massive, massive dip, so... CCI is $81, as you can see right there. And we got $81. Very, very nice. That's good. Okay, that is good. And that does it for the REITs. Now, coming into the energy. Guys, my best performing pie, as you can clearly see right here, up $10,266. 256.41%. Dear God. Dear Lord. Take a look at this. Look at these earned dividends, guys. $888 just on Chevron alone. I, oh my God. Oh my God. Y'all ready for this? Look at this. Look at this. Average share price, 101. That's crazy. Current share price, $178. It was, what, $183 just like, what, yesterday? 185 I think it was the peak this week, which was just insane. Unfortunately, I'm going to be buying Chevron at a massive, massive uptick, but it is what it is. I don't want to lose these shares, guys. So, yeah, I got to put in $129 to go into the next share, uh, to, to just go into the next share because I have 122. I don't want to lose that 0.31. Sure, my cost basis will go up a little bit, but I'm still way below. So, let's put in $129 into Chevron. Very, very nice. Okay, and now into the last one, the healthcare sector, we got AbV, and AbV average share price is 105. I was watching this at like 80. I was seeing this at 80, and I was just like, no, I don't want to buy the 80. I'm scared because of COVID and all, and all that stuff. Then it went up to like 100. I'm like, no, I want to go back to 80, and then it never fell back down to 80. So it, there it is. I won with Chevron, and I lost with AbV technically, right? I could have gotten a lot more. But nonetheless, guys, still performing very, very good, up $3,328, 121% overall. So let's actually see how much we need to buy into this company for Abby, $117. Okay. And that will put me over the edge of 67 shares. Very, very nice. Next, we got Amgen. Another stock that has just been overperforming for me. Take a look at this. Average share price, $220. Current, $290. Up $2,375. Well, sorry, $2,376. Up 95.5%. Absolutely insane in the membrane. I'm going to be losing again because I'm buying this at a massive uptick. And uh, I have to put in $250 into this company. That kind of hurts. Now I'm thinking... Here's the thing, right? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna show you guys. Amgen right now. Amgen, if I could find it. Uh, let me see over here. Amgen. Amgen right now pays me fifty-eight dollars and sixty-seven cents. And Amgen guys does not pay out a small amount either. It is a dollar and ninety-four. So I, I think I do just need to do it. I know it's at a higher price, but I think I just got to do it. So let's come over here. Let's buy and let's come back to dip holdings. And $250. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. This hurts so much. I really don't like buying it at that price, but it is what it is. This isn't really, I'm not really doing this to like get dividends out of it. I'm mainly just doing this to just transfer everything over like at a later point. But yeah. Next, we got Mark, another overperformer. Take a look at this average share price of $74, current of $101.59, up $1,188, 106.54%. Insane. So, how much are we going to buy for this one? Let's see if I can find it. Uh, 
Mark, Mark, Mark is over here. Oh, okay, it's only 25 bucks, so that's perfectly fine. Only $25, very, very nice. Oh God, I like those small payments. I really like those small payments. All right, we're done with Merc. Now we got Pfizer. Pfizer has been also doing pretty good. $35.20, current share price of $46.72. Up 50% on it, that's actually not too shabby. So for Pfizer, $28.50. So let's do this, 28.5. Very, very nice. And we're coming down to the wire here, guys. We're almost done with this video. I just realized it is 31 minutes long. <laughs> okay, we're almost done. Johnson & Johnson, the last one. Average share price, 144. Current, 172.45. And uh, let's see, how much do we need for Johnson & Johnson? We need 165. It's essentially the, the, the remaining. I don't know why I had to look at that, the remaining. And there we go, guys. We are essentially done buying all of these companies. All of these trades are going to be executed tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. And uh, once they do, I will essentially have enough to go into the next share, assuming that the share price doesn't go up. If it goes up to the point that it takes me out of that, then I have to buy into it again at around 3 o'clock whenever I have my next trading window. And then the next steps for this guy is just to call up Charles Schwab and be like, transfer my account, you know. That, that's just about it and uh yeah after that point that's when things are really gonna get hot for me on, on the channel guys because that's when i'm gonna start doing cash secured puts so that's gonna be really really fun so that pretty much does it for this video everybody kind of long but figured you guys might enjoy uh me buying a couple stocks and also it was a quick overview of my whole entire portfolio so yeah, like if you like, comment, subscribe, it really does help her with the algorithm on YouTube. You guys can follow me on my new tech sites, link in the description below. So with that said, peace out guys, and I will see you all next time.